Hey guys, my name is Wes, and you're watching Wes Nichols TV, and today I'm reviewing, by request, The Lords of Dogtown. The Lords of Dogtown is a 2005 sports biopic starring Emile Hirsch, Heath Ledger, and John Robinson. It's directed by Catherine Hardwick, and basically this movie is about the Z-Boys and the root, the birth, of what we know as modern skateboarding. Before the story takes place in this movie, you're basically seeing skateboarding as you're riding around, you do some little, like, moves side to side, you do some manuals, which is basically a wheelie, some little spins with that, and those are like, oh my gosh, these are awesome, you're getting 9s and 10s in a competition. And this is, you know, showing the true evolution of it, where you got people going into the air, you got people going into pools. It's really cool to see that, and as far as telling that story, you can tell it's written by somebody who's there. It's written by Stacey Peralta, who's a character in the movie, and was one of those Z-Boys, one of the birth guys of this sport, basically. And you can tell he was there because of how real it feels. It doesn't feel manufactured as far as a movie goes. It feels pretty gritty, and I like that. I think they did a good job of demonstrating this is what it was, this is how it kind of changed, this is how it changed a little more, this is how it changed, and by the time that their stories were really coming to a, a real ending point in this arc, this is where it was. And I think they did a great job in telling that portion of the story, the skateboarding story itself. I also loved the characters. I think that, once again, it goes to the fact that he was there and he's writing these characters of people he knew. They all have unique things to them. They all feel similar because they were all raised in a similar place. And I think that they did a good job of making sure this is this guy, this is this guy, this is this guy. And they feel more real. That's a great positive. The soundtrack in this movie is freaking awesome. I mean, anytime you can get Hair of the Dog, Nazareth, in the movie itself, just, mmm, that's awesome. Plenty of other great songs in it. It's similar to Days to Confuse and the fact that you can just toss on a soundtrack to this movie and be like, that's go somewhere. I want to drive to this. I want to go and skate to this. I want to just hang out to this. That's a great positive. I also had nostalgia watching this movie. Not because I remembered watching it as a kid. I did watch it when I was younger. And I did enjoy it when I was younger. But I grew up in a neighborhood that skateboarded. Almost all my friends skateboarded. I skateboarded a little bit. My brother skateboarded and still skateboards a ton. So I grew up around people who were similar in some ways to these characters. And so it's touching me. It's hitting my emotional heartstrings. That's great. Anytime you can get somebody who's nostalgic and feeling connected to the movie, they're going to have at least some positive feelings about this movie, no matter how bad the movie was. And it's not a bad movie. I'm just saying it's always a helpful. It's always a great positive. As far as negatives go, and it's a huge negative for this movie, you're seeing the story of a couple of different characters, and early on, they do a really good job. It's easier to tell these stories of these different characters because they're hanging out together. When they're on screen, you can just see like the way he looks at this person. He how he talks to this person, how this is slightly changing. But as the movie goes on and the characters kind of find their own paths, you're limited by time. You can't have a three-hour movie of this. Some people will enjoy it. Most people will get bored. And so you have to cut it down to like an hour and 40, hour 50 long minute movie. But after an hour and you're connected and they're all going separate, you have to hit time jumps. And it's confusing. I had a friend who was watching it with, and I needed to explain to them, no, it's this much time has passed. Put a little thing at the bottom like a lot of movies do. We're at the Del Rio tournament or something like that. And while that's helpful, I don't know how much time passed from the last time jump. So I'm like, so we lost like six months, seven months? Has it been three years? I don't know. So I'm trying to explain that. Now I'm talking during the movie. If you have to think about what the movie and what's going on in the movie, you're missing the movie in front of you. And that's a negative. And not just the time jumps, but because you're doing time jumps and you're doing different characters in these arcs and their own character arcs, and for the most part, you see character development in each of the characters, which is good. But because you're missing core parts of that development in the time jumps when you're spending time with Jay or Tony or Stacy, it's a negative. You're missing things, and it needs to be filled in, but it never is. I might be missing a director's cut that I could have seen, and it fills it all in. And if I am, let me know in the comment section, because that'll be helpful. I'd like to see that version. But for this version of the movie, it's a huge negative, because I was following up towards the end, just thinking of what was going on. Hey, wait, this? Wait, this? I don't know. But, overall, I did like this movie. Even though it's a huge negative, I like the movie overall. I still have good feelings. I'd still recommend it to a friend, especially if they like skateboarding. So I'm going to give my overall score as about a 7, maybe a little higher than a 7, out of 10. I love the soundtrack. I like the characters. The movie feels real, and I hit nostalgic bones. Like It works that way. Negative, the time jumps, the missing parts the stretching of different character arcs because they're separated and I get it's a true story but it's still you gotta do the best you can with it and they could have done better I think but 7 out of 10
But that is just my opinion. I want to know yours. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. While you're down, click the like button right over here. Click subscribe right over here to get on my videos. Subscribe. Come on, guys. If you're watching my videos and you watch most of them anyways, or you watch half of them, subscribe. You'll have them in the corner and you'll be notified and stuff like that. It's helpful for me. It's helpful for you. Yeah. You can follow me on Twitter at WestNichols14. You can share me on social media anywhere you want. There's a link to a video right there. Days to Confuse, most likely, because it's basically like Lords of Dogtown, but in Texas instead of California and not about skateboarding. Thanks for watching. My name is Wes, and you're watching Wes Nichols. Have a great night. Bye.